But today guys, I am going to be updating you on the games that I have added to my Nintendo 3DS collection, considering that the Nintendo 3DS eShop will be closing next year in March 2023. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the nine games that I have purchased since last time I showed you the five games that I added to my Nintendo 3DS collection since I heard that the 3DS eShop was closing. So let's talk about them. I'm going to express my opinions and my feelings about these games and why I purchased them. So stick around, make sure you watch this video, give it a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you over there. Here we go. Let's start this video off with a bang. Here is my favorite game of all time. However, there's a bit of a twist to this. I have never actually played this version of the game. So here we go guys, my favorite game of all time. Those people who know me will know what this is, but here we go, it is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. Now, I have never actually played this version of the game. The reason I have this in my collection is because The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is by far my favorite game of all time. I love that game to bits. I can play that game over and over again and I can never get bored of it. There's just such intrigue with this game. I like the atmosphere of it. I like the way it plays. I like the challenge this game has and it's just it's the most obscure Zelda game in the series and I just love it for that reason. I mean I always said that Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game but this is my favorite. It's a completely different thing best and favorite so yeah I had to buy this when I saw it. I got this in July and as I thought you know what I've got to treat myself. July is my birthday month so I had to treat myself to my favorite game of all time and the 3DS version. So the first time I boot this on my Nintendo 3DS I will be basically having a new experience with it because it's different with the fact that it's like the Grezzo version of this game. It's got a different style, different art style. I have seen that the boss battles and also the swimming mechanics in this game have changed, which I'm kind of torn about because, I mean, they weren't amazing in the original version, but apparently they've butchered them in this version. So when I play it, I'll find out, I see. But anyway, that is my first pick of the Nintendo 3DS games that I purchased. So here we go. Majora's Mask 3D. Considering I'm talking about Zelda right now, I'm going to show you the next game that I purchased. So here we go, it is The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. So I brought The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes because I haven't actually played this Zelda game. Um, it's the one Zelda game that I've not actually played. So this is basically a must play for me because I am a Zelda purist. I love the Zelda games. They are my favorite game series of all time. So. I brought this one purely on the fact that it's basically a Zelda game. Like I said, I want to play it. I have never heard good things about this game. I know it's a free player game at heart, but you can play it single player. I will be playing this because it's a Zelda game. Um, so yeah, it's something that I am looking forward to playing. I'm not expecting amazing things from it, but if it's a Zelda experience, it's for me. So yeah, Zelda Triforce Heroes. Also, if anyone has a 3DS and they want to play with me on this, by all means, I will happily do that. So for my next pick, last year I went on a bit of a JRPG hype and I played through a few of the most popular JRPGs. So I thought, you know what, I'd continue that tradition and I picked Bravely Default. Bravely Default is a game that I don't actually know that much about. All I know is that this game is kind of like Final Fantasy 3 on the DS, if anyone remembers that game. Um, it looks like it, I've seen the box art for it, I've seen how it plays. It looks like a Final Fantasy game. I love Final Fantasy. I think the Final Fantasy games are brilliant. So I have a feeling that Bravely Default is going to be a game for me. Um, I did see how costly this game is getting. So I thought this is a good opportunity to buy this now while it's cheap. I feel like Bravely Default is one of those games which the price will rise once the 3DS eShop closes. So Bravely Default is on my list of games to buy for the 3DS. But yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this one. I like JRPGs, so I think this is going to be perfect for me. Um, and if I like Final Fantasy 7, and six and eight and nine whatever i think this will be a good game for me so here we go bravely default is on my list so the next game i have on my list which was actually a nintendo 3ds launch title was pilot wings pilot wings i picked up because i really like the airplane game on nintendo wii sports resort <laughs> i like it for that but I hate the controls on the Wii Sports Resort for the airplane game. So I saw that Pilot Wings had that mode in it with game controls. Oh my God, as soon as I found that out, I was like, Pilot Wings, I've got to pick it up. <laughs> this game is super cheap as well. Like it's not expensive to buy. And this game I think will actually rise in price. Um, so Pilot Wings is a game that I picked up because of that reason, I just like going around Woohoo Island. I think Woohoo Island is something that Nintendo need to revisit. I miss Woohoo Island. Woohoo Island was something that 
I really liked. I liked being able to see the lore of the Miis in Nintendo's catalog. So Woohoo Island is something that I like to just kind of visit every now and then. It's kind of like a vacation in a game for me. So yeah, I had to buy Pilot Wings for that reason because I just like the Miis. I like the Woohoo Island. I hope Nintendo don't drop the Miis altogether after seeing Nintendo Switch Sports. So please Nintendo, please keep the Miis. They are part of your catalog of characters now. Keep them please, everyone likes them. And Pilot Wings, yeah, I bought it for that reason, just because it's one of those games I can chill and play. So my next game is a sequel to one of my favorite games on the Nintendo DS, which is New Super Mario Bros 2. I haven't played this one yet, and I thought, you know what? I really like New Super Mario Bros on the DS, so New Super Mario Bros 2 on the 3DS is something I should play, considering it's basically more Super Mario Bros. Apparently this is the worst Mario Bros game. I don't know if that's true. That's what I've heard. I've not played it yet, so I don't know. Apparently it's about coins and collecting lots and lots of coins. So apparently it's the worst one, but I mean, I'm yet to play it, so I can't really be the judge of that. But it is Mario. I love Mario games. Mario is one of my favorite franchises of all time. Um, I've never not had fun with a Mario game. I know there are bad Mario games out there, but from the ones I've played, I've never had a problem. So New Super Mario Bros. 2 is was on my list considering it's a 3DS game and I'm looking forward to picking this one up and playing it. So yeah, New Super Mario Bros. 2, hopefully it's a good game. Might not be, we don't know yet, but I'll play it and I'll find out and I'll let you guys know. So the next game is a game that I purchased because I have a bit of nostalgia for this game and I, it's not really a game that I necessarily want to play straight away it's not like a must play game for me but i brought it because of the nostalgia for it if you was a kid in like 2005 or whatever year the nintendo ds came out and that was that christmas morning where you got your nintendo ds i remember playing my nintendo ds and playing the first version of this game and thinking wow this game is amazing and in hindsight this game is kind of simple and it's not really a like greatly like in-depth game it's just kind of like a tech demo but yeah i had to buy this game because i saw it and thought you know what i'm gonna have to revisit my childhood and play this game so this game is nintendogs and cats yeah please don't judge me guys i have to play this i have to see what it's like to see if it is the same experience as the one on the nintendo ds i want to play this just because also i am also a dog lover i love dogs they are my favorite animal so i'm looking forward to picking this one up and playing it nintendo dogs <laughs> it's got to be played it's got to be played it's on the 3ds i know they did make the little friends game on nintendo switch but it's not quite the same as this one this is the official nintendo dogs game so nintendo dogs and cats i picked it up because i want to play for nostalgia i want to feel like i'm back to my childhood again and play with my dogs so if you want to know what my dog was called on the nintendo ds my dog was a chocolate labrador and it was called cadbury i remember that yes cadbury is somewhere out there in a cartridge just wasting away i don't know where he's gone i think i sold him sorry cadbury <laughs> so for those of you who know me know that i didn't actually have a nintendo 3ds back when the Nintendo 3DS was at its prime, when it was coming out. I never actually owned one. So this is actually my first 3DS. So I'm like really late to the party with the Nintendo 3DS. But I know that right now the Nintendo 3DS has an amazing catalog of games. I feel like the Nintendo 3DS has kind of been forgotten about considering Nintendo Switch is out now and it's so big and it's such a popular console. But there are amazing games on Nintendo 3DS. These games I did actually miss because I was going through a period of my life where Nintendo, wasn't really a major thing in my life like uh, gaming in fact wasn't really a thing like back then like in kind of like the 2011 to 2015 era of my life i kind of forgot about gaming and i didn't really play games so yeah um these games i missed and i didn't really play because like i said i never had a nintendo 3ds so while i've got a nintendo 3ds now i've gone out and brought these games and these next two games were kind of like games that i really wanted to buy so yeah I'm going to tell you these ones now. So this first one is Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. So why did I buy Pokemon Alpha Sapphire? And the reason is I had Pokemon Sapphire on the Game Boy Advance. And Pokemon Sapphire is one of, if not the best Pokemon game. So when I found out that Nintendo were making a remake of Pokemon Sapphire, I had to pick it up 
I've not actually put this in my 3DS yet, so I'm looking forward to playing it when I finally do. I mean, I missed the Pokemon games. I missed all of them up till Sword. So the last Pokemon game that I really truly played was Pokemon Sapphire. So I missed all the Pokemon games up until Pokemon Sword and Shield, which is when I decided to revive my interest in Pokemon games. So for now, I'm going to have to go back and revisit all of the Pokemon games. So Alpha Sapphire, X and Y, Pokemon Platinum and Diamond, which I am playing on the Switch, and obviously Pokemon Black and White, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. So yeah, all those Pokemon games that I missed, I am going to have to go through and play again. There's so many of them. But Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, I had to pick this one up because, like I say, it's the remake of what is maybe the best Pokemon game to me. So Pokemon Alpha Sapphire was on my list for that reason. So yeah, there we go. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And then continuing with the Pokemon theme, I had to buy this one. So Pokemon Ultra Sun. I heard that apparently the normal Pokemon Sun and Moon aren't as good as this version. So I had to go for the Ultra version. So Pokemon Ultra Sun. I don't really know much about this game, to be honest. It's a Pokemon game that I've never really looked into much of and I don't really know any of the Pokemon from it. But I'm sure as soon as I start playing this game, I'll probably fall in love with it. So I'm looking forward to picking up Ultra Sun as well. So yeah, there we go. So this is the ninth game in this list and this is the creme de la creme for me of the Nintendo 3DS games. And this game is Metroid Samus Returns. Yes, this game to me it's one of the must play games on the Nintendo 3DS. So I'm probably gonna play this game next. But this game is super rare. I am lucky to have even found a copy of this game, to be honest. I think I was lucky to find it. And when I did, I had to purchase it or else I was never gonna find it again, probably. So Metroid Samus Returns, if I am correct, this game is gonna soar in price. It's probably the rarest game in my collection. So I'm lucky to have this. So yeah, Metroid Samus Returns. I love the Metroid games. I kind of went through a stage last year and the year before of playing through the Metroid games and I love them now. I am really into the Metroid games. So Metroid Samus Returns, it's a must play on my list. So as you guys know, once the Nintendo 3DS eShop closes, these games are gonna kind of become collector's items, I think, and they're gonna be a little bit rarer, probably a little bit more expensive. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, gonna do a rundown of the prices I paid for these games. So here we go. So for Metroid Samus Returns, I spent 38 pound. For Pokemon Ultra Sun, I spent 32 pound. For Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, I spent 30 pound. For Nintendo Dogs and Cats, I spent £10. For Super Mario Bros. 2, I spent £15. For Pilot Wings, I spent £6. For Bravely Default, I spent £25. For Triforce Heroes, I spent £8. And for Majora's Mask 3D, I spent £38. So, there we go. All of that together cost me £202. I actually think that might be a bit of an investment. And I think that once these games rise in price, I might have actually profited off these games a little bit. Also, please remember, I didn't just buy these games outright. I did trade games and resell games. So yeah, I didn't just buy these games with my own money. I did have to kind of think about it logically and trade games I don't play anymore and old games. So yeah, that 202 pound wasn't wasted. I hope this video has enlightened you in the games that I have purchased for my 3DS collection. Hopefully you might consider buying some of these. I also would like to know any recommendations. So if you have any recommendations of Nintendo 3DS games, which you think I should buy for my collection, please let me know in the comments. So please guys, like, comment and subscribe on this video and I will see you for the next one. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you around. Bye.